Hi friends, welcome to my very first health nugget. Uh, this is going to be a new format and it's part of kind of the new channel direction and it really uh, is fitting in with the self-sustainable uh, philosophy going back to school. But if we don't have the basic fundamentals, whatever we read, we are going to open ourselves up to a proliferate of opinions. So we really have to have a basic understanding and I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. But one of the things I'm going to incorporate is you because uh, since I announced um, the new direction of the channel and, and one of the things I did in the first video is I was talking about the food source and there was a lot of discussion and I want to clarify I wasn't picking on meat. I think a lot of people think I was picking on meat and I was pro, uh, um, I was uh, promoting a vegetarian diet or all plant food based diet. This is not about my opinion and uh, what uh, I do for myself and I want other people to do. We all have free will, we have free choice, uh, but what I'm going to do is clarify and present the best options that are out there to just clarify with facts. Okay, so um, the, the thread started on my last video during uh, the, 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 it was actually the pantry video, and uh, it was Susie um, Hendricks who actually asked a question, and she was a little bit confused, and she was talking about the maker's diet. I, I don't know what the maker's diet is, but uh, she said it, it, she thought it made a lot of sense to her, and, but we'll go to the, the comment here. Uh, it, they go by the handle of Kla Glee. And this person uh, is, I, I really enjoy this person's comment. They're very insightful. They seem to have a real grasp on things. And when they comment, they always have something productive to say. This was uh, the question that she presented. Starry, you say, why meat? Because um, it has 15 essential important nutrients in it that you can never get from a plant-based diet. Vegans always have to supplement their diet with artificial vitamins and saturated fats. Not plant fats are re required to absorb nutrients from plants. Grains are not really not that necessary. So, all right, thank you for that comment because it gives uh, me an opportunity to just hone in on just the information and clarify uh, what really is an amino. Let's clarify it. Uh, number one, she is right. Meat does have some essential nutrients that, is, that isn't found um, in plants. They're very specific to protein. So let's explore that. One of them one of them is B12, and this is a big one for vegetarians and vegans because they usually are low with B12 because they don't eat meat. A three ounces of steak provides 86 grams of B12. So, uh, and supplementing B12 can be really difficult, but however, not impossible. Uh, so uh, vegetarians and vegans, you got an option. And one of the options is for your B12, is yeast flakes, four to five yeast flakes. In fact, I put yeast flakes on almost everything. It has a, think about this. One quarter cup of yeast flakes gives you nine grams of protein, which is 290% of the recommended daily allowance. You don't need meat for your B12. Okay, so you see that there, so there's a clarification there. Uh, meat has a lot of B12 on it in it, but we got, we've got yeast flakes. Uh, also, uh, going back to Clay Glee, uh, she's right. There are these essential uh, nutrients, and one of them is creatine. Uh, creatine is very specific to meat. It's only found in meat. It's a great source. Bodybuilders, um, eat, you know, supplement with creatine. They eat lots of protein. Why? Because it helps build muscle. So, um, you know, it's like, okay, what about that? You know, we need creatine. You know what? It's not an essential nutrient. It is not something that the body needs. So since the body doesn't need it, because there are things that the body needs, creatine isn't one of them. So that's a wash. Just because it's in meat doesn't mean now that we have to eat meat to get creatine because we don't even need it. Uh, the other thing that is found in meat is something that's called D. 
Now DHA is an omega-3. It's, it's an essential fatty acid. So it, it is, it's good for you, right? And in a three ounce steak, uh, that steak will provide 80 milligrams of omega-3. So now you really need that steak, right? No, <laughs> because there is an alternative source and that is flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil blows meat away because so in one tablespoon of flaxseed oil there is 7196 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids it's pretty impressive isn't it so you see when I say we don't need meat in our diet we really don't because everything that we thought that meat is giving us we can find an alternative source for and actually find it without supplementing all right, and what about D3? Because that's a big one. Uh, meat does have a lot of D3, a dairy. I use this research for everything. This is, and, and some of you may already know this site, uh, this is the uh, U.S. National Library of Medicine and the National Institute of Health. Very reputable. Uh, this is where you find uh, journals from doctors and articles written by, I mean, universities, doctors, vitamin D, and they talked about the sources of vitamin D. Uh, and how, you know, it's really important that, that we get it. And one of the sources is, you know, the eggs and the meat. Humans derive most vitamin D from the action of sunlight and skin. But like I said, however, the current Western lifestyle with most activities taking place indoors often prevents su 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 a sufficient sun exposure. In addition, we have seasonal and longitude uh, may diminish the intensity of the sun. And we got clothing and sunscreen. So in this case, dietary intake becomes increasingly important. How However, only a few foodstuffs, mainly animal origin, fish, meat, offal, and egg and dairy are recommended in literature to be a valuable source of naturally occurring vitamin D3. So, you know, that's, in, that's I mean, there you go. We need that. And that's the only dietary source. But if you go down here and read more, with sufficient UVB exposure, dietary intake of vitamin D is not necessary problem with meat. When you eat too much, too much protein damages, damages things. And we'll talk about that later on. I know this is a really long health nugget, but um, too much of anything will damage you. Um, but not too much of plants and not too much of veggies and not too much fruit. I mean, you know, you really can't overdose on too much salad and, and green stuff, right? Uh, so, and, and I know there's going to be comments as well, you know, I knew someone who just lived off of, of, of watermelon. I'm talking about a well-balanced meal and also with grains. I know she, uh, she or he uh, made a, co a comment that we don't need grains, but it's amazing because grains offer the same nutrients as meat, the thymine, the biotin, uh, the riboflavin, the flavonoids, uh, even, even protein. So we do need grains. Grains is, again, a healthy alternative. But, you know, the best thing to do is if you, if you love meat and you're not going to give up meat, and I'm not trying to convince anybody to give up meat. I'm just telling you what the facts are and trying to clarify. Uh, it all comes down to moderate. That's a fact. All right. Okay, I love you guys, and we're going to have some more thought-provoking conversation. I'm excited about it. And uh, you got more comments and questions? Fire away, we'll do some more health nuggets. All right, and if you have any information, please, if you're going to use it, post it, but make sure you cite your reference, and hopefully it's going to be a substantiated, reputable source like the um, National Library of Medicine, uh, you know, the journals, the JMAA, you know, those are great resources. All right, we'll see you soon.